so you see uh, what we uh, need to understand here uh, is uh, that generally our uh, the way we breathe when we speak is uh, uh, is uh, it depends more on where you are sitting with whom you are talking and uh, what is the content of talk and and so forth so uh, that is a conversation and generally we use uh, our uh, uh, varied uh, uh, volumes uh, in conversations depending on cultural uh, context uh, depending on uh, the uh, intimacy or uh, you see how you handle a situation and so on and so forth but as we shift from conversation to dialogue uh, or to singing or uh, to deliver a speech or to uh, uh, give a presentation our uh, control of our own voice production must be uh, consciously uh, created and a uh, lot of uh, <coughs> signs uh, that we have generated among ourselves in informal space they are useful there but in a performance whether on stage we need to understand our voice or if we are making a radio play we need to understand our voice or if we are singing then we must understand how we exercise uh, our control on our volume now <clears throat> if you see this uh, human uh, lung so uh, you see uh, the the whole cage of the lungs okay at the bottom of the cage inside there is a muscle called di diaphragm have you heard of this muscle yes sir. yes sir okay what is it if somebody can answer my question and how is it useful in breathing So it's a piece of muscle. It's a piece of muscle, but how does it help in breathing? So Can when you... we inhale, it expands, and when we exhale, it contracts. What does that mean? <clears throat> Sir, actually, the diaphragm is located between the lungs and the stomach. It's right. between them. Right. So when we breathe in, the lungs expand. And to uh, like equalize the proportion, the diaphragm contracts itself so that the stomach could be able to take the space because stomach cannot contract. But uh, because we will breathe in, the lungs will expand and the more space will be occupied by the lungs. Okay. And when we breathe out, <coughs> it turns back. Okay. So let us uh, you know put it uh, in simpler way. Uh, just imagine of a parachute. So. A parachute, uh, you know, it is coming down, and uh, the uh, uh, person who is using the parachute, let us say, is a uh, is is diaphragm. Okay. So when you are breathing in, uh, the the uh, lungs, let us say. The diaphragm is taking, is pulling it down, pulling it down, which means outside air, the pressure in the outside air and the pressure inside will uh, determine the uh, uh, incoming of the voice, incoming of the air. Now it is pulling down, when it pulls down, the stomach, particularly the area near the uh, 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 the below side of the stomach, 
will expand okay so when you are sleeping you can notice for example different uh, age groups right say right like from uh, children to very elderly uh, the stomach uh, goes up and down goes up and down when they are uh, uh, breathing so similarly when when the uh, when you are exhaling the muscle is rising up is rising up now uh you may just think of the reverse uh, flight of the parachute okay it's rising up okay when it rises up the air inside will go out but it has to have a pressure you know which should uh, be uh, in proportion to the pressure of the air outside now this is a uh, more biology but how this information is important for us as uh, actors for stage or for film or for a uh, radio that when we are breathing so we must in a way develop a habit of breathing deep breathing that when we are taking the breath in let us imagine that the diaphragm in below the lungs at the bottom of the lungs as a muscle we try to take it down 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 to the extent that it becomes very deep it 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 goes down towards the lower part of the stomach now if you stretch it like this then your breath will be longer and you will have more time to control or think about your voice now similarly so uh, so one thing is that deep breathing is essential for understanding our voice now how do we understand our voice when we breathing deep that your focus of the mind is on two things once on your breathing and the other on the production of your voice so the two things will look go together now most of us uh, when we breathe we are shallow breathers uh, we don't uh, stretch the diaphragm towards the lower part of the uh, stomach and uh, then our own mind and unconscious which means that lot of emotional uh, disturbances uh, demands expectations they also bombard us when we are speaking so in a conversation or in real life our speech is uh, regulated or modulated by the motivation that we have in our mind for the conversation but here our motivation is for creating a message for creating a story for creating uh, uh, you know an art a work of art so when we are creating a story or a work of art or a message we must really uh, uh balance the spring of our body or our voice producing instrument so our voice producing instrument will comprise of our lungs vocal cord muscles okay and of course the uh, mouth tongue lips uh, uvula palate and our adequate placing of the tongue adequate opening of the mouth will determine our pronunciation our uh, then within this like on stage we have a term called blocking in uh, proper production is when you tell the story this is a kind of uh, storyboarding that on the stage the characters will walk till here and you have a grid there 
अप स्टेज डाउन स्टेज सेंटर स्टेज एंड देन लेफ्ट एंड राइट सो लेफ्ट राइट अप डाउन दीज आर फोर एंड देन द ग्रिड एंड द सेंटर इज द सेंटर स्टेज एंड ऑन द left of the center right of the center and to the down of the center and to the up of the center you know this is how the grid is uh, created now in on that grid the movement is blocked now along with that the dialogue uh, delivery is also blocked the the voice okay and of course you are right uh, this is for certain purposes one is clashing of the voice number two clashing of the bodies and number three you know you know your frame you know your walk so that the light which is uh, falling from different angles is going to hit you but it will hit you only when you know the blocking where you will be standing so light then sound that is the voice and uh, then shadow light and shadow and uh, at the same time uh, the grid grid of the stage all of these uh, uh, matter in uh, telling the story on the stage now in uh, radio play blocking is uh, not of the bodies because uh, bodies uh, are not visible and they are not there in radio play vo vo voice is there so now when you deliver voice when you speak something say you speak a sentence so you can uh, think of how to block it uh, say if uh, uh, you are singing a song uh, so a singer knows where the poses are where the silence is and uh, uh, so uh, so you see this uh, blocking of the voice uh, is also a very important dimension of uh, radio uh, play making so one thing in radio play making is the volume of your own voice and how your own body the instrument with which you produce sound is very important for you to understand and it is good to do practice of deep breathing every day if you are an artist even if you are not an artist it's always good to have to have deep breathing because this relaxes you this helps you for sound sleep this helps you in developing focus and it this creates a very one different kind of attention in your uh, mind and uh, moreover it takes more oxygen therefore you look uh, vibrant energetic and uh, more connected so you see uh, so uh, we are learning it because of uh, this course but i would recommend everyone each one of you to keep doing this exercise and to be benefited by uh, deep breathing